I have been studying how I may compare this prison where I live unto the world. And for because the world is populous, and here is but not a creature but myself, I cannot do it. Yet I'll hammer it out. My brain, I'll prove the female to my soul. My soul, the father. And these two beget a generation of still breeding thoughts. And these same thoughts people this little world in humors like the people of this world for no thought is contented the better sort as thoughts of things divine are intermixed with scruples and to set the word itself against the word as thus come little ones and then again it is as hard to come as for a camel to thread the postern of a small needle's eye thoughts tending to ambition they do plot unlikely wonders how these vain, weak nails may tear a passage in the flinty ribs of this hard world, my ragged prison walls, and for they cannot die in their own pride. Thoughts tending to content flatter themselves that they are not the first of fortune slaves, nor shall not be the last, like silly beggars sitting in the stocks refuge their shame that others have and others must sit there and in these thoughts they find a kind of ease bearing their own misfortunes on the backs of such as have before endured the like thus play i in one person many people and none contented Sometimes I'm my king. Then treasons make me wish myself a beggar, and so I am. Then crushing penury persuades me I was better when a king. Then by and by, then am I kinged again, and by and by think that I am unkinged by Bullingbrook, and straight am nothing. But whate'er I be, nor I nor any man that but man is, with nothing shall be pleased till he be eased with being nothing. Music do I hear? Huh. Huh. Keep time! How sour sweet music is when time is broken, no proportion kept. So is it in the music of men's lives. And here have I the daintiness of ear to check time broken to disordered chord, but for the concord of my state and time have not an ear to hear my true time broke. Wasted time, and now doth time waste me. This music mads me, let it sound no more. Though it hath helped madmen to their wits, and me, I s it seems to make wise men mad. A blessing on their heart that gives it me. But tis a sign of love. And love to Richard is a strange brooch in this all-hating world. <laughs>